As we all know, there's a lot of drama surrounding Trisha Paytas, who's currently getting cancelled, alongside her fiancé Moses, who's been accused of stealing by his ex, who wasn't his ex apparently. For ages, Trisha has accused Moses' ex of being a catfish and a stripper because she was salty his ex leaked private messages of Moses talking crap about Trisha online, right before Moses started dating Trisha. Trisha also allegedly doxed one of Moses' ex-girlfriends, whose name was Melissa, because apparently Trisha thought that the person on Guru Gossiper that was talking shit about Trisha, whose username was Melissa, was Moses' ex but it turns out it wasn't. So basically, a tea page on Instagram that's got all the receipts had posted these exposing messages. This is the text the catfish sent Moses when she found out Trisha Paytas was tweeting her literal name when the situation was always between them and even before she sent my account their DMs. The lies Trisha says about people is unreal. Trisha inserted herself into all of this when it had nothing even to do with her. Here we can see Moses' ex had sent him a screenshot of Trisha's tweet about her. Catfishes and creep stay pressed. Lol, Melissa and the other ones relax. Haha, <laughs> mummy knows what's up. Here's the attention you want, baby. Go and go get stuffed. Be right back. Moses' ex had said, This is wild. I don't know why Trish is tweeting about me and saying my literal name. I thought this was between us. I told you I never wanted drama with Trisha ever. What happened with us was about us. And how I lied, I'm kind of unsure why Trisha even knows my real name. I've never reached out to her and told her my name. And I've never exposed anything about you guys. And like, I I told you tonight, I will never expose our private messages either. I'm sick how I make you feel. And even sicker you feel like crap because of my actions and lies. Sorry to unload this all on you, but she made it public and I felt like I should bring it to your attention. I don't want clout. I don't want attention at all. That's not me. I'm not a I did not seek out to talk to you because of Trisha, ever. If that was the truth, I would have stopped talking to you a long time ago. I'm not a victim, I'm just confused how she knows my literal name, when I only told you it. Moses responded, It's okay, can I explain tomorrow? I finally fell asleep. It's nothing. Okay, I'm not trying to start anything, but also was confused. I'll let you sleep. Didn't mean to wake you. Talk tomorrow. There's even proof that Melissa, if anything, was looking out for Trisha when Moses was being all casual with Trisha. That same tea page had exposed the following message with Melissa and Moses. And just for clarity, Melissa was in contact with this tea page about a year ago, but not anymore. She just wanted to move on with her life after Trisha started accusing her of being a catfish and doxed her. Here we can see Melissa had said, but this goes back to what I said, ha ha ha. You might think you guys are friends and just friends with benefits. She might think it will turn into more, but this quarantine put people in odd positions. I get it. Girls are different when it comes to and I hear you, I will act on it. Cause one minute you say you don't do casual, then you're like, so what, we sleep together. To me that's casual sex, cause there's no intent to date. I'm not telling you to do anything lol, I'm just giving you my point of view as a friend. I know she knows she thinks you guys are gonna end up together. She wants, but I told her that it can't work between us. Yeah, but do you think if you keep being her, she's really gonna know that? So lastly, the tea page exposed these leaked messages with another tea page, proving that Trisha was accusing the catfish, aka Melissa, of being a hater of hers for years. When in actual fact she was exposing the wrong person, she'd had a mix up. It turns out she was exposing her actual hater on Guru Gospa, who just happened to have the same name as Melissa, Moses' ex. Hey, regarding the catfish, there used to be a very frequent user on Guru Gossip called Melissa, but I don't believe they're the same person. I think Trisha just came to the conclusion they are, and this is why she believes Melissa hated her for such a long time. Really? Oh my god, now I feel even worse for that girl. Yeah, let me find more info, we'll message you back ASAP. Thank Thanks so much, cause this girl is def not a long time hater. Yes, oh my god, two different people, wow. And Trisha said in her most recent video that she typed Melissa into Guru Gossip, and that's how she found the story. Wow, that poor girl. Melissa9 was the name used on Guru Gossip. I'll re-watch the Trisha video and find the timestamp. So even the Guru Gossiper who was talking shit about Trisha admitted that Trisha accused the wrong person and hoped that Melissa, Moses' ex, was doing okay because of the mix-up between them. This was right after Trisha d girl Moses was speaking to. Here we can see on Guru Gossip, Melissa had said, I also hope it wasn't me she's trying to hit with this path. I haven't tweeted her in months, nor posted here. If it is me in her mind, she's garbage at investigating. And on that token, I hope the Melissa she posted is okay and not receiving anything from her fans. None of it makes sense. Trisha also finally made a video responding to all the backlash she's getting. And of course she turned off the comments because boy oh boy the contradictions. And just seeing it in her eyes, she knows that this is the end of her YouTube career. She basically said that the H3 subreddit was responsible for her getting cancelled 
and she kept bringing up Ethan. But Ethan has barely commented about the situation at all. He hasn't even made a podcast or a video addressing it. So let me get this straight. Trisha can make 200 plus videos about Ethan in the past, yet when H3 even mentions her, they're sending a hate mob her way according to her. So 12 days ago, another ex of Moses came forward and confirmed Daphne's story based on everything she herself had experienced while dating Moses. I'm not sure who this ex is, it could be Melissa, it could be someone else, but anyway it shocked the entire H3 subreddit. She had said, I dated Moses and believed his lies until now. Triggered. I keep getting asked so no mod has contacted me or anyone from H3. Edit. Mod please delete if this belongs in frenemies or not here. I posted here because Google showed me posts on the sub about Moses truths. Second edit. Daphne is not catfish. I showed proof that I knew him. The photos themselves weren't to expose private tea for drama. I should have said it's sociopathic and not Pathic, so y'all give me a break. Also, the photos are scattered in comments because I had no idea you could have posted it before posting original text. Too late now. And no, I'm not going to tell you anything about Ethan and Hela. I don't know where else to post, but I just found out through T channels that Moses has been lying to me and is a path. Everything Daphne has shared is true. I think Daphne is the catfish she told me about. I tried to reach out to Ethan via email because I felt like this confusion and drama has split them and hurt them about why Moses didn't stick up for them. The reason is because he hates Ethan, but no response as I'm sure they get crazy emails all the time. I sent that email a while ago, before or around the end of Frenemies. I dated Moses before he went on H3 Bachelorette and now realising he lied about almost everything. He continued to message me about Ethan, Trisha and Catfish. My only motive is to confirm Daphne is telling the truth about everything because he told Slash did the same things to me and more because until this post I thought we left on friend terms and that things he said and did were accidental, or that I'm just too sensitive. 2. I assumed Ethan and Hela were hurt and confused as to why Moses never sticks up for them, so I wanted them to know it's not because he's staying neutral, he's part of it and has always despised Ethan and shared really intimate hurtful details about him. 3. To find out my own truth as I only now got tidbits from exposing videos that popped up on my recommended. I don't want or need clout, I don't need anyone to care about my story, I'm not here to dish on Ethan and Hela's private life. It's also fine if you think I somehow I'm making this all up. I just want Moses to not be able to pretend he's a saint, to lure sympathy as if he's a victim and talk neutral party. I also want him to not be able to use this persona he's playing to lure young women anymore, but I'm sure he'll try to keep Trisha as she's financially helpful to the lifestyle he's always wanted and gained him the followers he wished he would have gotten from H3. Also, when Trisha called out Moses, she was telling the truth. She was the only one telling the truth about him at the time, and all of you at her. I'm not speaking on her character, but she actually was telling the truth and possibly looking for people to hear her. Someone kindly compiled the photos into an album for me. Photos merely show proof I know slash dated him in real life. It's not to show explicit combos. So yeah, obviously this ex of Moses had also revealed photos of them and screenshots confirming that she was actually Moses's ex, and the screenshot of messages she leaked was those very ones that Trisha was accusing of being a catfish because there were pics of Moses's bro- See ya, what are your guys' thoughts on everything now? Let me know in the comments. Oh, oh, oh.